Elon Musk revealed SpaceX's latest achievement in aerospace technology, the nuclear fusion spaceship. This breakthrough approach, developed in partnership with Pulsar Fusion, departs from conventional chemical propulsion and represents a significant step toward attaining the formerly distant dream of interplanetary travel. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about Elon Musk just revealed SpaceX's nuclear propulsion engine. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Did you expect Elon Musk to reveal SpaceX's game-changing nuclear propulsion engine? Dive into the specifics of this groundbreaking technology created in conjunction with Pulsar Fusion and discover how it transforms the future of space travel. What distinguishes it from standard methods? The answers may surprise you. Nuclear propulsion is a game-changing technique for space travel. It uses the enormous energy created by nuclear processes to propel spaceships forward. Unlike regular rockets that use fuel, this novel concept deviates from the standard, providing a more efficient and potent alternative. This is not a novel concept. The United States launched the NERVA program in the 1960s to use nuclear energy for Mars missions. At the same time, the Soviet Union followed a similar approach, building the RD-0410 atomic engine. Despite encouraging ground tests, both programs experienced setbacks, highlighting the difficulties in moving from theory to actual application. Nuclear fuel's powerful energy helps rockets to carry heavier payloads, which is critical in astronaut missions. Furthermore, the possibility of interstellar travel emerges, broadening the scope of exploration beyond our close cosmic neighbors. Nuclear propulsion is based on fission and fusion processes. NASA fission includes splitting heavy atomic nuclei, which produces significant energy, whereas fusion involves merging light atomic nuclei, which has even more power. Converting these theoretical principles into rocket systems necessitates the development of reactors specifically designed for space travel. Unlike terrestrial reactors, which are primarily designed to generate power, space-bound reactors prioritize the production of maximal thrust. The art of building these reactors is more than just a scientific endeavor. It represents a paradigm shift in the field of space exploration. Nuclear propulsion emerges as a revolutionary force as we release the latent energy within atomic nuclei, driving us into a new era of efficiency and possibility across the immense expanse of the cosmos. Two basic types of reactors are discussed. Reactors that are both thermal and rapid. Thermal reactors, also known as thermal spectrum reactors, use a moderator to delay down neutrons produced during fission reactions, improving reaction efficiency. On the other hand, fast reactors use fast neutrons and, since they lack a moderator, can use a more excellent range of nuclear fuels, potentially including atomic waste conversion. The core of any propulsion system is its fuel, and fuel choice is critical in the vast expanse of space. On Earth, enriched uranium is typically employed, but space travel demands diverse fuel choices. Candidates such as uranium-235, plutonium-239, thorium, and americium exhibit distinct properties in the reactor. Two central systems arise as one navigates the nuclear propulsion field. Thermal propulsion and electric propulsion are two types of propulsion. Thermal propulsion uses heat from a nuclear reactor to superheat fuel, which is vented to generate thrust. On the other hand, electric propulsion uses nuclear reactor power to ionize a propellant, moving ions through magnetic or electric fields to generate thrust. While electric propulsion systems excel in efficiency, making them excellent for long-duration missions requiring gradual acceleration, thermal propulsion systems provide greater thrust levels for rapid acceleration, making them acceptable for time-critical human crew tasks. However, issues like as radiation raise worries. As a result, sophisticated shielding techniques and cooling systems have been developed. Advanced cooling systems that use liquid metal coolants like sodium and potassium draw heat away from the reactor core. Extreme heat management is critical to avoiding potential damage or meltdowns, needing careful consideration in reactor design. In the case of a malfunction, safety procedures, contingency plans, and automated shutdown systems are critical components for maintaining mission continuity and astronaut safety. 
Consider the consequences of a nuclear accident in space, where the emission of radioactive elements might pollute orbital routes, endangering subsequent missions and increasing the issues of space debris. Concern grows as damaged spaceships with onboard reactors are discovered. In pursuing space exploration, such spacecraft may become long-term radioactive dangers, demanding solutions for their safe disposal. It is critical to recognize that it is a monument to human ambition and a relentless determination to push boundaries, not just about reaching new horizons. Using nuclear propulsion to hasten voyages to distant realms highlights its vast potential. However, with great power comes great responsibility. Every precise aspect, from the reactor's architecture to the voyage's chosen path, must be thoroughly prepared with safety and environmental considerations at the forefront when considering the cosmic secret behind SpaceX's pioneering method. We investigate the connection between energy and mass. This equation, encapsulated by Einstein's famed equation East equals mc square, illustrates that even the smallest mass grain may be an energy powerhouse. This concept drives nuclear reactions, in which atomic particles change, releasing enormous energy. Nuclear propulsion is the underpinning of humanity's future space exploration. Nuclear reactions of fission and fusion take center stage in the atomic realm, where particles engage in a coordinated ballet. Fission is splitting heavy atomic nuclei, which releases energy, whereas fusion is joining light hearts to generate heavier ones, which releases even more power. The neutron multiplication factor, K, is critical in monitoring the ancestry of neutrons within the inner workings of nuclear reactors. It identifies whether a reactor is supercritical, subcritical, or equilibrium. K must be balanced for reactor safety and propulsion efficiency. The Tsiolkovsky rocket equation emerges as a crucial notion in rocket science when exploring the secrets of nuclear propulsion. This equation creates a link between the velocity of a rocket, the speed of its emitted exhaust, and the rocket's weight before and after fuel consumption. The exhaust velocity, which directly reflects the propulsion system's efficiency, is critical. Nuclear propulsion systems, whose high temperatures result in higher exhaust velocities, offer a more potent thrust impulse required for spacecraft acceleration. Regarding specific impulse and delta V, two critical criteria for space missions, nuclear propulsion technologies outperform their chemical counterparts. Nuclear fuel's high energy density increases efficiency in turning stored fuel energy into speed and motion. Higher Delta V opens the door to speedier travels, expanded mission capabilities, and ambitious exploration of outer planets or interstellar space. However, with the potential of nuclear propulsion come concerns, particularly in terms of radiation management. Engineers use innovative shielding techniques and cooling systems to protect spacecraft and astronauts from radiation. The composition and design of shielding materials, lead, tungsten, and water all provide effective radiation shielding. Furthermore, managing the enormous heat generated by nuclear reactions necessitates advanced cooling systems to avoid any damage or meltdowns. Faraway stars and galaxies are no longer straightforward twinkling lights as SpaceX's nuclear propulsion redefines the frontiers of discovery. They become our next stops in the vastness of space. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.